Hi guys, we're starting our next build. Um, I hinted at it in a couple of places. Mm, excuse me, I'm tired. But we're actually getting into it now. Uh, you can see I've got base color on my on my pilot and primer on his head. I got my cockpit parts are also in primer. I'm waiting for that to dry so that I can start painting those. Because we are doing a 132nd scale Rebel F-104 Starfighter. We will be doing it for as for as Blue J4, which was in the Star Trek episode. Tomorrow it was yesterday. When they go back in time. Um, this is not a half band kit for for being Ravel and having its age. It does have uh, mostly raised panel lines on it. And it's kind of a copy. I'll move the camera here a little bit. It's kind of the copy of the 48 scale. I don't know which one came first, but not exactly. Uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to build it wheels down or build it in flight. If I build it in flight, we're going to add afterburners to it. Uh, one thing I will say is I do not have the exact tail number of decals for Blue J4. I have a crap ton of 132nd scale F4 decals but I have no number fours in the right size and spot for the for it so that I could splice it together so instead of being 914 it's going to have to be 912 but I won't tell it anymore if you don't um, it should be fun Hey guys, I had an inspiration the other day, and uh, pull, and I pulled the one twenty five hundred scale Cadet Series Enterprise out of the AMT Lindbergh Blue J four F one four Starfighter Enterprise kit. Uh, we got the Enterprise there. We and I built the Lindbergh kit previously. This one right here. Back in the background. This is not not a great kit. It's all right, but it's not great. So I was said yeah, I was fudging around, decided to throw this Enterprise together just to try it out. I've got another one in the regular Cadet series set that I still haven't done. Just to see how it went together and the decals and yada yada yada. So I got it done. It's not perfect. It's far from perfect. Uh, I didn't do any seam feeling. It's supposed to be a snap tight kit. I kind of treated it that way. I didn't do any real seam feeling, filling on it or anything. Just kind of threw it together. Shot it with a coat of paint and threw the decals on. And for what it is, it's not bad. Not bad at all. But anyway we digress that's not why we're here today not exactly as you've seen from the intro we are going to do blue j4 and we're going to do the Ravel 132nd scale f104 c or and or g starfighter second here i'll probably have to hold one second i'll remove move the things around so you can see what we got okay we're back I apologize I'm actually shooting a video during the daytime instead of in the middle of the night so we're dealing with shadows and light coming in the window but just bear with bear with me if you can um, 
we're doing the, so we're doing the Revell 132nd scale kit um, it was from like 1988 when it came out and it's been repopped half a dozen times with just different decals along the way um, I have an aftermarket resin pilot that I've added and we have painted up to be Captain Christopher who was the pilot of Blue J4 in the episode again I apologize for the lighting I'll get him over here it would be a little easier to see maybe and I've got stills too so there's a resin pilot there for Captain Christopher I don't have the HUD up on there yet obviously the canopy will get to that in a minute that's part of the reason for this video um, so we did stainless steel scratch build pedo tube for it and we are going to do it in flight obviously because that's the way it was in the in in the episode well, they just use stock footage but so we've got gear up and whatnot and you see there I added a brass rod and our mount for the base so far so good um, there's a little bit of seam work to do not bad it was not bad seams at all it just looks like it because of the white filler against the green makes it look like it's a lot worse than it is we did some filling around the around the doors and whatnot to make them fit better and around where I put that in the mount post mount in we got so that's our fuselage. Hit wrong way. We got a cockpit ready. We got um, worked on. Got the tip tanks ready for primer. I got the weapons pods ready for pylons ready for primer. We are going to light. We are going to light the afterburner because it's going to be in flight and it's fortunately going to be really easy because I can actually slide this in and out through the through the tail so I can put my battery and stuff in it so I don't have to run wires down I debated on doing all the navigation lights on it and stuff and thought nah that's not that's more effort than it's worth so we just sealed her up so it fits pretty good everything there um, till we get To here where I was was where I stopped at right for right now so basically I'm just finishing up the last of the of the filler and the sanding getting things ready so I decided to start masking the canopy and Houston we have a problem put that on there let me see if I can is it can. We have a short shot. Uh, I'm not sure what or where we're going to go. I mean, guess I might have to order another kit because I'm too deep into this one to, to scrap it. And I, I could probably scratch build the rest of it and use it to make a mule for a vacuum form, but I don't have access to vacuum form machinery and whatnot. So I guess that's where I'm stuck at. I'm gonna is gonna have to buy another kit, which isn't cheap. But I mean, I'm I'm, I'm in too far. I've got say I paid like forty dollars for the kit originally. I've got another twenty five in the figure, um, another thirty dollars in the decals for it. Um, probably at this point, probably about thirty five or forty hours worth of work and painting. Painting the figure in the, in the cockpit and you know all the scratch building stuff with the pedo tube and converting it for for the display stand so I'm just I'm too far in that to, uh, to cut it loose so I'm gonna have to I'm lucky there's one on eBay right now for $35 if it doesn't go off get bid up too high hopefully I can get it and and get the canopy part 
And yes, I searched. There's nobody does an aftermarket one for it. And this kit hasn't been made. Last time it was produced was 1999, so that was 20, 23, basically 23 years ago. So I seriously, seriously doubt Rebel could be any help, especially since that was before the whole going out of business and moving everything to the new company over in Germany. So we're pretty much SOL on that front. Um, but when they only have lemons, I'll make lemonade. So I'll end up with the second kit that I can hopefully maybe down the road I can find find a canopy for or do uh, find someone who could do a vacuum for them for me. And uh, yeah, that was what it'll be. But anyway, so we'll take that off. But I'll, even though it's just gonna be a mask. <sighs> Kind of basically, this is kind of the where I've got it set up for. I'm going to move the camera again, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Kind of what's going to be on the stand. And that climbing, kind of a climbing turn with him looking, looking up at the sky towards the Enterprise. So. Then we're not going to give up on it. We're going to keep going. Nothing else I can keep working on the paint and stuff while I'm waiting for a can to get another kit to get the canopy from it. And uh, we'll move forward with it. So thanks guys for watching. And if you on the on the odd 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 slim chance that you've got an extra clear sprue laying around for for the for the starfighter then i would be happy to purchase it from you or if you've got a kit at a that you're willing to sell for a decent price i would be very happy to to entertain any offers on that so until the next video have a good day